Strahticha, tovarishi, and welcome to some Company of Heroes battle reports because I got a ton of positive feedback on my last ones, so I figured, what the hell, let's do some more. So, uh, in search of replays, this time I went to a site called gamereplays.org, and, uh, well, you know, the name of the site kind of says it all, and clicked on, they had, you know, various tabs of replays, and clicked on one labeled expert, and then downloaded some. So these are, or this is at least, one of the expert replays, or so-called expert replays, from gamereplays.org. In any case, playing as the Panzer Elite, we are going to have Freestyler spawning in the bottom, and at the top here, playing as the British, is going to be VB Mars, and this is on a map called Langres, I believe. And uh, off we go, off to the races, as uh, some people might say. I'm not one of those people, so I'll say it anyway. All right, we just have our Panzer Elite with the... Uh, Kenton grads just chilling out, just zooming around the map, capturing territory. British spawning Tommies. Also to capture territory. He's moving out with his headquarters command truck. Probably going to put it in a uh, more uh, suitable position. In a Looks like he's going to park it right beside the victory point here. Or not. Or he's just desperately confused as to what he's going to do with that. Okay. Well, I think... Some one of these players might be actually German because uh, it just spewed a bunch of German text at me. Anyway, this Kent guy, he's just not gonna stop him as he runs in there and uncaptures that munitions or sorry that fuel depot. Anyway, he did end up setting up that command truck right behind uh, the first victory point, which is gonna give him a stable base. If he needs to retreat, uh, retreat back there, you know, his infantry are going to have a nice position and hopefully hold that one, at least that one control point for the duration of the map. But the Panzer Elite is capturing territory fast and has taken relatively half the map already. And they're moving out and capturing more and more. But this is the way of the uh, Kenton grads. Because they're, they're kind of fast, if you haven't noticed. A little bit faster than British infantry, who are painfully slow when they're not in their own territory without an officer. Scout car on the, on the field. From the Panzer Elite player. And one victory point now belongs to the British. No real engagements quite yet. Have some British Tommies moving in. Looks like they're going to try and take this munitions depot. And another squad with the lieutenant is on the way. Oh no, they they are just charging forward. Ah, I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to uh, make it so these uh, territories aren't connected, meaning they no longer get the resources. We are losing ground. British player being pretty aggressive early on. Winging out across German territory, trying to uh, uh, uncapture some points. But they managed to accomplish their goal, which is to take that supply point out of German uh, control. Cutting off their resources. But they're gonna, that scout car is gonna capture it right back up. And these Tommies are probably not gonna be able to take out this scout car. They're gonna be able to put dents in it, but not kill it. Kentingrad's coming through, taking uh, fuel points away from the British. Oh, Brent Carrier on the field. And he's able to chase away this Kentingrad before he can uncapture that fuel depot. Which is definitely a nice, uh, nice position for the British. Definitely something they don't want to lose. He's these Tommies have these uh, Panzer Grenadiers pinned down in front of their base. Though they're in good cover, they're able to once again uncapture that point, cutting off the British, or sorry, the Germans away from their resources. Brent Carrier has now been upgraded with a machine gun in the back. Or these Panzer Grenadiers just tried to charge the British and got slaughtered in en route. Enemy is seizing our territory. Uh, this is like an early rush with the British. This is 
kind of bizarre. I thought generally the way things worked is that the Panzer Elite were supposed to be the rushers, not, not the British. Oh, wow. Might lose a uh, Kentingrad. Oh, oh, they might lose a scout car. Oh, the scout car goes down. Brent Carrier also takes it to Kentigrad. Wow, these are this is a tough position for the Panzer territory. Elite to be in. They are in our base. They are hitting our base. Putting out a trench as well. The Panzer Elite has got to think of something fast. Because the these British are being extremely aggressive. The Brent Carrier, territory along with these Tommies, are setting up very nice perimeter outside their base. Panzer Grenadier is trying to charge out. One of them falls against the Brent Carrier, and they're trying. They are forced to retreat fairly quickly. Our forward supply lines are broken. Setting down a casualty clearing station for the British. Man, the Panzer Elite has to break this contain. Left to off the squads on the field. Are they going to try and? Deploy some defensive implements in order to break this contain. The British are now just happily capturing some territory. Looks like these Panzer Grenadiers are going to try and flank the British positions. Capture some territory. Lieutenant is guarding the uh, victory point here. Panzer Grenadiers are moving out. Oh, Brent Carrier is coming to shut that down. If they can, at least. We are losing a sector. Scout car stops another British squad from capturing more territory. But now, right now, the main engagement is going to be between these Panzer Grenadiers and this Brent Carrier. It's going to see if they can force them back into their base. Oh, forced one squad in. Scout car also doing some aggressive maneuvering up in the British base, but I don't know if it's going to be able to do a whole lot of damage. There's plenty of infantry there defending the British positions. Wow, the British are just gobbling up territory left, right, and center. Forward supply lines are broken. Back at home, Panzer Elite is is probably I I've no idea what he's doing. He's probably trying to come up with some kind of. Way to break this contain and break these positions. But things are looking really bad for the Panzer Elite. They're looking really bad. Oh, the Kentingrad is trying to scoot on through. Maybe gonna take that fuel depot. All right, scout cars and British, uh, or sorry, Panzer Grenadiers are all going to move against these British British Tommies and Bren Carrier. Grenadier is forced to retreat fairly quickly. Oh, this is an armor car. One's a scout car. Sorry, there's a difference. Like this armor car is going to try and do some damage from a distance. I think if he wants to do a significant amount of damage, he's going to have to take out this Bren Carrier. Reinforcing Panzer Grenadiers. Oh, they forced the British to fall back, but the they both simultaneously fell back. Bren Carrier backs off, and finally it looks like the Panzer Elite is going to maintain a little bit of map control. Or regain a little bit of map control. Forward supply lines are broken. There's no way they can risk any kind of frontal assault until they have some more substantial armored power against this trench or they are able to burn them out. Looks like they're trying to hit. The Panzer Elite is going to try and starve their British player fuel as much as they possibly can, capturing these fuel depots. Not so much interested, I think, in gaining it for himself, but just rather denying it to the British at this point. 
Panzer Grenadiers in a scout car moving along the side. Oh, he's got a steward on the field. Things are looking grimmer by the second for the Panzer Elite. Oh, never mind. Got a Marauder out. The enemy has moved against one of Germany's victory points. It looks like the British are going to try and take all the victory points. But this Marauder is going to be able to do at least a lot of damage to that Brain Carrier and... Uh, Stuart tank. Not so, going to be so helpful against the infantry squads. But it is still a scary implement nonetheless. Oh, that scout car just got massacred by these Piats. Wow. That was brutal. Oh, Tommy is moving forward, pushing the Panzer Elite back again. Looks like he's upgrading these Panzer Elites with MP44s in order to try and make them more effective against the infantry. I think he's feeling that his Marauders got this anti-armor anti role covered pretty well. So he needs something to be able to do some damage to these British infantry squads. He's got two of them out on the field. So while the British have two stewards milling about. But right now, the British are in firm control, firm domination. Having all three victory points. We are losing a sector to the Commonwealth. Captain just running around, I guess. All by his lonesome. Trying to take some points. There's a little bit of a lull in the fighting. Points left. The enemy is seizing our territory. God, they really he's really gotta capture one of those victory points. Oh here come the incendiary grenades. We all know where this is going. Straight to the trenches. In they go. Retreat, retreat. Oh, uh, oh. That poor Panzer Grenadier. Our forward supply lines are broken. Well, looks like they were able to burn out that trench at least. Now he's in a position to do, move out a little bit with these Panzer Grenadiers and Marauders backing them up to take out these stewards. Sorry about that, had to pause for a second. Anyway, stewards are coming in to force these Luftwaffe squads away from the last victory point that the Panzer Elite owns. However, Marauders, looks like they're going to come in and try and counter them. But the stewards are going to move away too quickly. And for now, at least, the Panzer Elite is going to hold some territory and one victory point. Oh, that poor, poor scout card slaughtered by these British infantrymen. But right now, oh, they just British are just relentless. They're all trying to converge on this one unknown victory point. However, I think if the Panzer Elite can remuster and get a good engagement, I think they can turn the tide. They can take out these infantry, and their marauders can take out those stewards. They can turn this around. But right now, it's not looking good. British infantry moving up. With a captain now. Man, look at this guy. Just standing in the middle of the field with his revolver. Well, let's put on... Uh, in a second. Sorry, a steam pop-up is blocking my ability to put on the cinematic mode. Oh, look at this. Cinematic mode. Whoa! That marauder is... Uh, firing shells. Ah! Uh, Okay, well, enough of that. Increased squad sizes are now possible. So, that was kind of a bad idea, because now I'm a little bit lost as to what the hell is happening. It looks like... British infantry are trying to move up. And at least they forced away the, the vehicles, so now the infantry is going to try and push these Tommies away. And it looks like they're going to be able to do just that. 
Tommies, fall back. Marauders, keep away those tanks and that Bren carrier, allowing these Panzer Grenadiers with their MP44s to clean up the British infantry. Oh, Stuart's moving in. One's damaged, the other's in good health. But this is a terrible idea. What is he doing? There's Marauders here. They're going to tear apart those Stuarts. Bren carrier goes down. Oh, he's trying to use a canister shot to kill those Luftwaffe squads, and he does, but at the expense of one Stuart. Two Stuart. No. Oh, it might escape. Oh, nope. There it goes. The expense of all his vehicles. Slaughtered by those marauders. Or mar Excuse me. Slaughtered by those martyrs. Now. Oh. It looks like the, the Panzer Lake just might be able to turn the tide now with all their infantry, with all their vehicles gone, the infantry in rough shape. This is the time for the Panzer Lake to move out and take as much territory as he can and hopefully try and regain some of that lost ground. But he's got a lot of ground to regain at this point. 200 points is inadequate. Men are barely needed. <laughs> That's inadequate. That's an understatement. Alright, looks like the infantry is on the move. They can try and regain some of the initiative here. Ooh, ooh, here we go. Flak Panzer. And that's gonna tear apart these infantry regiments. Oh, Commando is finally being called in. Here we go, Commando Squad on the field. But this Flak Panzer. Like, if it can, if it can catch all these guys bunched up. It'll be a slaughterhouse. Oh, jeez. Infantry moving up. Flak Panzer. Supporting them. And they just throw a bunch of incendiary grenades into this building. And it burns. It burns. Those infantry have to run. And it looks like they might take at least one victory point back. It's going to be tough for them to take that other one. Considering that's where the British base is stationed right now. But it looks like these six Panzer Grenadiers are going on the push of their lives. Actually, I think there's more than six. There's seven. <laughs> and, like, nope, F this. Not happening. Command commando squads. Oh, I thought they were going to assault, but they were actually just retreating. It's like, oh no. Commando squads from behind. Nope, they're just running away. Luftwaffe, ground forces have arrived and are now available for assignment. Alright. Slowly eating away at the British territory. Another flak pan, or is that? Chaser, the is stealing a victory point from beneath our nose. Wait, no, it's only the one. Oh, you've got to take that back, buddy. Don't let him take it. Now these engineers are sappers. I just call them engineers. Looks like he's trying to destroy that uh, hedge. That hedgerow, allowing his infantry to move more easily. Bridge infantry wrapping around. Trying to take some territory, but they're going to lose that victory point yet again. Oh, there's just heavy fire by this Flak Panzer. Not a position these British want to be in. And they gotta run. They gotta run. Now the British are in. Oh, look at this. Cromwell's. Looks like he's trying to in the in the back underneath this uh, minor infantry aggression, trying to sneak some Cromwells on the field. But I don't know if they're going to be able to take out those Marauders.
Now that poor lieutenant. I don't know how he managed to dodge so many bullets, but I guess someone must be watching over him right now. And now, the tables have turned. Things have switched. And the Panzer Elite maintains control. Back at the British base. They're trying to throw together some offensive. Here they come. Cromwell's moving out along with the supporting infantry. They're trying to retake the center. But these mar marauders are just in a good position, especially with the loss of that hedgerow up here. They have a pretty clear line of sight. We are losing a Looks like he's going to try and have the Cromwells flank around while the infantry hold the center and try to engage the Panzer Elite vehicles. Or not, or the Cromwells will chill out. Oh, Staghound, armored car. Man, I don't know what he was trying to do with those Cromwells. If he was able to wrap around and flank those Marauders, he might have been able to do some damage. But now they're finally coming in to help out his beleaguered infantry. But it might be too little too late. If he can kill a Flak Panzer, might be able to gain something. Oh, another. Oh no, that's not. That's the staghound. I thought there was another Cromwell. Oh, look at this, Firefly. All right, now the British have some anti-armor on the field, and it looks like they were able to once again retake the center. Oh, jeez, Flak 88. Oh God, these Cromwells are just charging in. Oh, they're just charging right in. Oh, this, this one guy's trapped. I don't think he's going to be able to do much. Oh, man. He might be able to take out one Marauder. Oh, oh, no. Oh. So close yet so far. Oh, and they also lost the... Firefly as well. And these Commandos might go down. A terrible engagement for the British. They're getting chewed up at the hands of these German anti-armor. That Flak Panzer Marauder combo, that is, that is brutal. Incoming artillery, just shy of taking out an anti-tank emplacement, or an anti-tank vehicle. Wow, that was brutal for the British. It's going to take a while to be able to recoup from that loss right there. The Germans didn't lose a single vehicle. It looks like they lost that Flak 88 emplacement, though. But their vehicle force remains intact. Damaged, but intact. And they can be repaired. They have the technology. Tommy's trying to force away the Panzer Grenadiers from this victory point. Comrades report the enemy has destroyed a vehicle. No, no. Where? I don't know. Must have been a Kentingrad or something. Now they're able to at least take the victory point, but I don't know if they're going to be able to keep it. Oh, sorry. Actually, yeah, no, never mind. They'll probably be able to keep it. At least do a ton of damage to these infantry squads. Nope, another staghound. Staghounds, left, right, and center. And I don't think these Tommies are long for this world. Oh, well. They were able to retreat.
The British are being continually aggressive, but their aggression is wearing them down as the Panzer lead is slowly building up a superior force. Now they have full Schmieger squads, or at least the ability to call them in. But, uh... Nope, oh, that's just a kind to Brad. I like full Schmieger squads for some reason. I don't know why, I just do. The enemy is seizing our territory. God, these... Now, now he's just trying to do, like, guerrilla war tactics and slowly stop... And slowly, you know, just bleed the Germans out for what little they have. Taking one, two victory points and hoping to just whittle him down to the point where he can win. Oh, no! Oh, it looks like they were almost able to take it, but they just couldn't. They couldn't put the last nail in the coffin there. Infantry moving out with support of a staghound. That was good. He used those commandos to distract the British, or sorry, the uh, German forces, and then is able to send his British troops down the center, able to take some territory before the Germans can respond. Oh, collision. We are losing territory. Go ahead. But now, the British are no longer in the extremely dominant position they used to be. And they're just trying to slowly claw their way back into the game. I do at least if they can hold the majority of the victory points for you know not too much longer they can still win this game but it's not going to be easy especially with the Germans continually building up their forces and a lot of these a lot of these vehicles are now veterancy upgraded look at this this Panzer Grenadier Squad has three shields. Not one, not two, but three. In case you were unclear as to how many shields they had. Unit down. Oh. Lost unit somewhere at some point. As they were able to throw some fire into those trenches. And there it goes. Man, without some really heavy anti-armor, it's not going to be able to break these German anti- uh, these German emplacements. Well, they're not necessarily emplacements, but they're Pretty immobile. And once again, the Germans eke into the center. And I don't know. Now the British players gotta come up with some kind of plan to turn the tide of this game. Now Removing more of these hedgerows here in order to create a larger field of vision for his anti tank guns. Now, these staghounds are just looks like they're just searching around to see if they can pick up some Kindergrads. Oh, God, the British are now moving into another suicidal infantry charge. Let's go to cinematic mode. Woo! I don't know who's winning or who's losing, but I'm going to assume the British are losing. Yeah, look at those guys repair that marauder. Yeah, that was actually really unhelpful. I'm never doing that again. That was much less cinematic than I hoped. 
Basically, the Germans shelled the crap out of the British and they were forced to retreat. In case you were wondering what happened. Alright, no more cinematic mode. Oh yeah, they're still just removing all those hedgerows. I wish I could see how much resources the British had at this point. Doesn't look like they're manufacturing any tanks. Oh, there's some full Schmiegers. Hooray! But at this point, oh, another infantry rush. Ow, oh, that guy just got blown to crap. I like the uh, lieutenant with the Piot. What a badass. Uh, these just, these Panzer Grenadiers just rush up and shoot everybody in the face. And, and it's done. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Oh. Those MP44s were able to do a ton of damage. And, well, they better, these guys better run. Or he's going to lose these veterancy units. Oh, they're able to. Oh no! But now, with the infantry, he was able to move up those marauders and pet flak panzers, and they're just gonna hammer these positions into nothing. I'm gonna try and push them back. Oh, it looks like they are gonna they are gonna succeed in pushing them back. Oh wow, that was not good. They lost a the Marauder, but it looks like that's going to be all that they lost. Bolster Migers also take up residence in a nearby building, not going to be able to do much. But wow, I lost a Marauder in that push. And that's not good. But no, he's making another one. So I think he'll be okay. He's got to get that infantry to the fore immediately. Oh, oh the, what are these? The butterfly? Butterfly bombs. Raining down. Are taking out British as they charge across the field. And then they have to retreat. And it looks like uh, VB Mars has rage quit at this point. So that was an excellent match. I thought for sure that that the British had it. That they were, there was no way that they could conceivably lose this match, but they found a way. I think it was mainly a couple bad engagements there where he th there was one engagement where he lost all his steward tanks to those uh, Marauders, and then another engagement where he lost another all his armor again uh, and wasn't able to destroy a single German vehicle. So that was rough. It was rough for the British. But, uh, yeah, what a great game. All right, so with that, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been the Stalinator. Signing off for now, and I hope you join us for some more Company Heroes Battle Reports in the near future. And until that time, you guys, take care.